friends welcome back to my channel it's sarah here creating with sarah thanks so much for stopping by in today's video as promised um, we're gonna do a plan with me in my skinny mini faith planner so if you guys want to see how i do that then stay tuned okay so this is my um diy skinny mini happy planner that i use for faith and fitness it's super cute it has a cool like holographic Heidi Swap cover that I found at Joann's. And basically what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna share with you guys a quick plan with me on how I plan um, my devotional um, faith plans, which is um, the Bible app that I use. Um, if I can, I'll share like a quick sc screenshot because I do my filming off of my iPhone. Um, so my app is there. So, um, I will probably try to do a screen recording to share with you guys what I mean. So really quickly, this is again, Franken planned DIY skinny happy planner. It's not like the ones that they, like the original skinny mini happy planners. Um, I'm using half sheet mini paper in here. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello. Uh, so I'm just quickly explaining that I'm using the Happy Planner paper. That's, you know, the skinny mini size. Um, it used to be just mini half sheet paper. I think that's what it was called. But now there's a whole new word, skinny mini. Okay, so um, I'm using these faith prayer list because, okay, so this is July. So when I go to July, I have my faith section. And it's fitness so I have um, fitness faith fitness my faith and basically what I do is just write down what the devotional is every single day that the reading plan that I'm doing on the Bible app so hopefully that makes sense so um, I'm already finished with the plan it was like 17 days but I went ahead and wrote it down here on scratch draft paper that way I can share with you guys just a quick little plan with me. And then I have one more here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but we'll take it out and see. Um, I think I might do a shorter one because I've noticed that this one was a little bit longer than what I was doing. At the beginning of quarantine, I started the more devotional and getting closer to God, which I really love. I really love the Bible app. It's really convenient. Um, and so... I was doing like four to five day plans, but this one was super long. It was called the impact of scripture and I just finished it. So, and that I do in this planner, which has my journals in here. I write everything down, my favorite quotes and things. So that's that one. That's actually my second one. This is my first one that I did, which I love. So I'll share that later in another video but right now we're just going to do like a plan with me of me just writing down what i was supposed to do that day and then also i thought in this video really quickly i'm going to change out this is my other faith related planner this is just a little prayer that i write down prayers in it's nothing too fancy i started doing stickers and things but then i just started using different colored pens that way i have so many colored pens and I thought, you know, this will be a fun way just to get to use use out of those. So I want to change the discs. These are the new Happy Planner ones. So I'm going to change that out because I think those colors would look cute um, instead of the pink. So these are the two sticker books that I pulled from Happy Illustration because I think this one's really cute. Especially um, the cups in here for faith planning. Those are so cute. I'm, I hate being a hoarder, but just some stickers I'm just loving. And then I think I got the pencils from Cool To Be Kind. This one has some cute cups, teacups in here too, which you guys probably know. Those are cute. Don't you wish you had two pages of those, even in this one? Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, but those are where... I pulled stickers from. Okay, so I have these little triangles here that I kind of did this in another week before to write it out. 
and prayer list. I probably want to cover that maybe with a pencil. Probably this way that we can. Oh, no. This is a little longer than I thought. No, oh, that doesn't look right. I might have to cover that up with something else. What did I do in the last one? Okay, let me just take this one out for reference. I used the Happy and Faith. I only have two faith related sticker books. And I'm recently going to post a haul on some new faith stickers that I came across um, that I'm happy to work with. But these are the only two I have. And this one um, I kind of dissected and did something with this one, but I'm kind of low. And I'm kind of limited with colors. I've been trying to go through my sticker books to see what else I could use for faith journaling. But I use these bubbles. So we can do that here. I'll use the blue one. That works perfect. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. And Okay, and then I'll write, it's called The Impact of Scripture there. And for this one, we'll use these little triangles for the, let's see, Monday, Tuesday. Okay, so I need five. One. It is so hard to think sometimes and talk to you guys. I apologize, but I did get some suggestions in my last video about using a certain faith. Thank you so much. Another devotional. That was really kind of you. Friday was my last day. Okay, so then I have an extra one. So basically that's what I do. What is that? I get all these random scuff marks. And what I do is I use a artist eraser to get it out. They're either white or gray. I forget what they're called. But sometimes they work. It's like a magic eraser. Or another trick. So everybody knows about these white gel pens. If you let it dry, sometimes you can cover it up. I'm assuming that was a um a pen mark. Okay. So then let's see. Then the rest of them are just like cute decorative stickers sometimes these can be really big so I think I have space I just worry about having writing space.
It actually looks cute. Right there. Okay. And then I can probably save the rest for my second one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and write all this out. Does this look crooked to me? Maybe I should put it on this side. Or did I just cover up my punch? I did. But I could punch that through. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna write all this out. Okay, so I've written in my plans for the rest of the week that I finished this particular reading devotional. Um, you may ask some why I have so much space. I could, I just never know. And I could always put a sticker there um, or maybe some type of notes, but I'll probably will put another sticker here. Here is a little bit closer because I definitely just wanted to write it out um, again every single day and what I'm supposed to do. And this last week in this finishing up this particular plan, it didn't have a lot of verses or scriptures. Um, so it always has a devotion of like each topic of what they want to focus on and then it'll give you scriptures to read and sometimes it's a lot so um, I think that's why I always make sure that I'm giving myself space. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this one. Okay, so I laid this out and the plan that I'm going to start is called COVID-19 Remedy for Anxious Hearts. Um, this one's only five days, so I'm going to start on Friday and end on Tuesday. So that way I can start a new one on Wednesday. And I like the shorter ones because I've noticed that if it's a four to five day reading plan devotional, I can actually stick with it than when it's longer like my last one. Uh, it was 17 days. So, but anyhow, okay, so I put everything down except for the coffee cup in the planner. I could use the planner and coffee cup on the other one that I had the space for. And put something else in there. And this one, I was, I thought I had enough of these flowers from the Happy Illustration. And I really like those in here. They're paper, but I didn't have that many. So I'm going to use, so I used the cactus because it's really cute. Okay. Um, and once you hit start on your plan, I didn't write down what they were. So when Friday comes, I'll go ahead and fill out the rest because once you start your plan, it starts to keep track of, um, your, you know, tracking if you're on track with your plans. Okay. So I wanted to see if I can put any more stickers down. Oh, it's actually over here. I mean, this sticker book has a lot of great um, stickers in here. I just wish it had more color. So it has like these Bible study boxes. And this is Happy and Kind Faith. These were my favorite, the ones with the multicolored, with the green and yellow. Mm, not a whole lot. I've used a lot of quotes. Already. 
already. Okay, I think I'll put like a favorite scripture there or favorite verse. And here I'm going to leave empty so I can write my um, everyday plans in space. And change these discs out. I think it turned out cute. I mean, now I have extra <laughs> mini discs, but I just really like that color. It's so pretty. So yeah, and then I gotta get all this gunk off of it. Okay, so really cute. So now I can put my insert pages that we just did back in my skinny mini and this was like a weekly thing so this was like a month of you know for July and I did fitness faith which this one probably goes here Fitness, faith, oh, here they are. I was like, wait, I'm missing one. This is not right. Okay. Fitness, I mean, faith, fitness, oh my gosh. Faith, fitness, faith, fitness, faith. This is my last one to kind of end out July. So we'll see if this works for me or if I need to keep it separate. But that's how I did it. It was just something to try out, like a weekly layout, but it is an entire month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Again, I believe the stickers mostly from Happily, Happy Illustrations, sorry. And then we used a couple from Happy, Kind, and Faith. And then the other one I think I mentioned was Faith Warrior, which I took a lot out. I um, decided to put it in here so I could get to them easier. I got this sleeve from Michaels. It's a Recollections insert. It's for TNs, so it's built for that. And I decided to cut up the rest of the stickers and put them in here. So when I do my devotionals, they're just ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this faith plan with me. Um, I will see you all in the next one. Take care and happy planning. Bye.